Hey everybody, welcome back to Jamia's promo and today we're going to talk about how you're able to download and register for the One UI 2.0 beta update with Android 10. So first off, I'm going to show you the steps that you would take to get this thing downloaded, but I'm also going to go over the steps you're able to take if you run into the infinite loop of nothing happening, which was my story and why I'm getting this update late. But now that I have it, I had to shoot this video here. It's early Sunday morning, uh, but I wanted to share with you how I was able to get out of that infinite loop. Now, another thing I just wanna ask of you guys is right now, if you guys like this video or dislike this video, just click on that like button below the video. I'm testing a YouTube algorithm. It's an experiment. I wanna see what happens with this video, what YouTube does with this video when you click on that little like button. So please hit that like button. It's for an experiment and I'm gonna be doing this all the way up until Friday and I'll share with you guys uh, what happens. So here's the steps to get into that One UI 2 upgrade with Android 10. Uh, I'm not gonna do it with the Galaxy Note 10 Plus because it already has the update, don't wanna cause any issues. I'm gonna continue downloading. Also at the end of this video, if you are curious of what is all new, I will go through all of this, read it, outline it, uh, and then also for me to learn and for you guys to know what is all new. So stay tuned to the end of the video for that. I won't bore you now, but if you wanna read it or listen to it, that'll be at the end of the video. So here's the steps. You wanna go inside of your Samsung members application. If you don't have the Samsung members application, go to your Play Store, go to the Galaxy App Store, go and search and download Samsung members. Then once you go inside of here, you wanna make sure you log in, but right there is where it should say register. It should say One UI Beta 2.0 Update, and then once you hit on register, then you hit on register a couple more times, and you're there. What's supposed to happen is on the top right hand side when you go inside of your settings, you're supposed to see right here where it says that you're part of the beta program. Now on my phone over here, it never did that. It kept doing a infinite loop. Now online, what they state to do if you are not able to get that little register icon or if for some reason it doesn't work, you just wanna go to your Samsung members app, press and hold, go to your app info, and then inside of here, go to your storage, and then you go to clear data. And now once you clear the data, you wanna restart your phone. So let's just state that I restarted the phone and it turned right back on just for the sake of time in recording this video. So once you've restarted your phone, then now what you wanna do is go right back over inside of your Samsung members. It's gonna basically start all over. Uh, you just, where you just wanna hit on skip, log in with your Samsung members account. And then once you allow for all of these, it'll take you into the application uh, and then you'll see the register icon. Now for me, uh, I saw the register icon. I've done all of this. All of that looked peachy to me. And then when I clicked on register, clicked on register a few more times, nothing happened. The register was still there. Now, as of now, if you're a regular user, somebody with not, you know, with no issues, then it would have stated with a little pop-up, hey, thank you for joining. Then inside of your settings on the very top, it's gonna say that you're a part of the beta program, which I'll show you over here because this one is, you know, a part of it. So if we go inside of here, uh, actually, the Samsung Members is not in there. I got to move it back in there. So inside of Samsung Members, on the top right-hand side, you go to Settings. You can see here, One UI Beta Program. So it states that I am a part of the program, uh, but it took multiple things to do. Now that you are a part of the beta program, it states, hey, welcome to the program. That little register banner is now gone. What you want to do is head inside of your settings, go down to the software update, check for the updates, and then you hit on OK. And then you just wanna download that new update and you're basically pushing it to yourself. So I'm gonna move that phone out of the way. Now that we're right over here, uh, again, you uh, let's say that you have the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, it's all unlocked and everything else. Um, then you wanna go down to your software update, you go to download and install, and then you just hit on download and then now you're right to where I am now. So let me just tell you the story now of everything I've done. I deleted uh, all of the other devices that was associated with my Samsung account. I did all the steps you just saw. I cleared the data. I, I've even uninstalled the application. I even went into safe mode, uh, but Samsung members didn't pop up inside of safe mode. It was an installed application. Uh, I've, let's see, I've cleared all the information of anything and everything you could think of. I started fresh in every single area. I turned off developer options. I've done every single thing other than factory data reset. And I kept running into the same issue of the infinite loop. So now if you're part of that group of people, uh, then this is what you wanna do. Go inside of your uh, settings, go to accounts and delete uh, your logged in Samsung account. Now that you've deleted that, 
go to your Samsung members like you've seen from before and clear the data of the application so this way it can start over. Now the very next step is the most important step which is log in with a different email. I know you probably don't wanna hear that. I didn't wanna do that. Um, a lot of information is stored on my Samsung account of my normal address, but I logged in with a old email. And with that old email put into my Samsung account, once I was logged in, I went back inside of Samsung members. I did everything you saw. I logged in. Uh, I clicked on everything I was supposed to click on and then register popped up, clicked on register and then bam, a pop-up said, hey, welcome to the beta program. I was like, what? I've been trying to do this for four days. I was up until 2 a.m. the night before trying to get this done. The fiance was able to get it done like that in one second with no issues, no problem. Uh, and there we go. And that was this morning around uh, 8.30, 8 o'clock. I was able to log in with a different email. Now that I've logged in with a different email, uh, I clicked on register. Then what you want to do is you want to go and you want to force the little update. So if you are done with this video, this was the infinite loop you're a part of, you can click off. Or if you want to read or stay tuned to everything that's brand new, here's everything that's brand new because it not only brings you the One UI 2, it brings you Android 10. So here's what's new for the dark mode. It has enhanced image, text, and color adjustments for day and night environments, darkened wallpapers, widgets, and alarms while dark mode is on. Underneath the icons and colors, clearer app icons and system colors, improved layouts for tile titles and buttons to eliminate wasted screen space, smoother animations, and it has enhanced animations with a playful touch. For full screen gestures, it added new navigation gestures. Now my guess with this one for the full screen gestures is maybe the back is over here built into the right hand side, which is a part of Android 10. That was a major thing I loved with the Pixel 4. Refined interactions, uh, navigate more comfortably on large screens with minimal finger movement. Easily focus on what matters with clearly highlighted buttons. For one-handed mode, new ways to access one-handed mode, you can double tap the home button or swipe down in the center of the bottom of the screen. So it seems like right around here to put into uh, one-handed mode. The settings has moved, so you have to go to settings, advanced features, and then one-handed mode. Underneath accessibility, there is listen to live speech uh, and display it as text, which seems pretty cool. Better text over wallpapers. So see text more clearly against wallpapers as One UI automatically adjusts font colors based on light and dark areas and color contrast in the image below. Biometrics added options for showing the fingerprint icon when the screen is off. You can choose to show it whenever you tap or keep it visible when the always on display is shown. Underneath device care, the battery usage graph now provides more detailed information. Added battery limit setting and other uh, enhancements for wireless power share. So some of the stuff I'm starting to see was coming from one of my older videos talking about some cool things that you can get that is exclusive from Galaxy Labs for the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Seems like some of the Galaxy Labs stuff is coming to this phone uh, for this update. Digital well-being, set goals to keep your phone usage in check. Use focus mode to help avoid distractions from your phone. Uh, keep an eye on your kids with new parental controls. Camera, added the ability to edit modes that appear at the bottom of the screen. Provided a more tab so you can quickly access hidden modes from the previous screen. Improved the layout so you can focus on taking pictures without the setting getting in the way. Internet, customize the quick menu to get instant access to the features you use the most. Get more information from the top from the app bar. Use video assistance to enhance your experience with web videos. Install add-ons from Galaxy Store to get even more features. Underneath Samsung Contacts, added trash feature for Contacts. Contacts that you delete will stay in the trash for 15 days before deleting forever. Enhanced contact search uh, by applying Bixby search engine. Improved uh, or improvement of QR code function, addition of a scan function. Calendar, stickers can be added to a date without creating an event. Ringtones can be used for event alerts. So that's kind of cool. Added a couple new things to the calendar. Reminders, uh, more options are available for repeating reminders. Set location-based reminders for a specific period of time. Share reminders with your family group and other sharing groups. Set reminders for a specific date without an alert. My files, look at where, okay, we're at the bottom. <laughs> My files, uh, created a trash feature so you can restore files if you delete something by mistake. So that's cool. So again, this is some of the stuff that came from the Galaxy Labs, testing some things before the One UI update really came out. Uh, so trash feature with, with my files. So it's not just with images, 
but now they added it to contacts and my files. So if you delete anything off your phone, it'll stay there like a trash can and then you can bring it back. Added more filters so you can you uh, you can use while searching to help you find things quickly. Uh, you can now copy or move multiple files and folders to different destinations at the same time. Calculator added speed and time units to the unit converter. Um, connected car Android Auto is now prelo preloaded. Mirror Link multi display function is mounted, and then tips added tips to help you get the most from your Galaxy. So let's just keep on finishing this download. So this is going to go through. Uh, finish the download everything is going to basically update and that's going to be uh, really the end of the video so i wanted to share with you guys the regular steps to take to get into this one ui 2.0 beta program basically you go inside the samsung members click on register once that is done it'll state you're a part of the program you go inside of your settings you click and you search for the update and there you go if you had issues with that you want to basically uh, delete all the data of samsung members restart your phone and then reopen it back up so everything can reload again and then you do it again that was the main step that was the main issue click on the settings go to uh, software updates and push the update to your phone that was supposed to was you know what was supposed to happen to me i had the infinite loop where for some reason with my email that samsung members did not want to push any type of marketing to me or get me a part of the program so i logged in with a old email through my samsung account and everything was there and all the steps was done as stated previously. So I hope that this video, I'm going to install it now. I hope that this video has helped you guys out. If it did, please again, give this thing a huge thumbs up. Again, I want to test this little YouTube algorithm, what's happening. I'm going to share with you the outcome of everything. Uh, I want to see what happens with this video when you hit, when you hit that up, that little uh, like button. Even if you didn't like it, click the like button. You can even hit the down button if you want, but uh, click the like if you could, please. I appreciate that. Um, also, if you guys uh, like this video, click on subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. Uh, if you like that video, then more than likely, you'll also like the other video on the other side. And I'll see you guys later.